Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you an easy way to create nice wooden floor tiles. Keep in mind that this is not the most physically correct way to do it, but definitely it's very fast and efficient. If you want to skip the intro part, you can go to the next marker. When you are working in interiors, most probably you are using floor generator to create floors as it's a time saving plugin. And probably you have a multi texture library to help with that. But now imagine you are working in an interior scene for a client and the client wants a specific floor and sent you a sample for it, just a single photo or a texture map. What would you do? Your options are scrolling through your library using that photo as a reference and trying to find the matching multi texture set. Or again in your library, finding a wood texture and cutting it into pieces to create your own multi texture maps. Or better, Using that photo directly in the material editor with minimal adjustment without any additional software in a super short amount of time so you can enjoy a cup of coffee rest of the day. And we are gonna have that coffee after this video. In the scene I already have a floor generator object, I set up some maps and I will show you what's going on. First I have this corona wire map here to show you the floor planks better. Next, I have a checker map to show you the default UV of floor generator object. A standard multi-texture map with 7 different textures. Corona UV W randomizer. Finally, a corona multi map to add a bit more variation to our floorboards. Let's start with corona wire to see the edges of the floorboards. Boards you can see here are 150 by 50 cm with 20% offset. And the base plane for the floor generator object is 300 by 300 cm. Now I will show you the usual way with multi texture map and using different plane textures. As you can see it looks pretty good because that's how it's supposed to be. And now I will use a wood texture that's clearly not seamless and has some light uniformity issues. And this is just a photo and not processed in any way. It's not even equalized yet. Let's see how it looks now. It looks wrong because floor generator by default is not meant to be used with this kind of texture. But first, let's have a look at our texture. Temporarily, I will turn off floor generator and put a UVW modifier on top. This way we can see how bad this texture actually is. As you can see, we don't even need to do a test render to know that this texture is not ok for production use. But now I will show you the way that you can use this texture inside Max and do something nice with it. First I will disable UVW map and enable floor generator again. Then I will open the material editor and use the UVW randomizer inside the material. Right in front of our texture. The thing you need to pay attention to is to set this to mesh element for floor generator and for this kind of texture use V offset so we can randomize the texture in the direction of the veins. And now for view offset, I will set it as 0.5 and I will leave from value at 0. And this way, it will randomize this texture from 0 to 0.5 offset. Now let's see how does it look like. This is actually randomized, but still we need to fix UV issues with floor generator to have something usable. Before that, I'm going to use a checker map to see the UV information on floor generator and what we need to fix. And to better visualize that, I will rotate the checker map by 45 degrees. Because UV generator boards, UV mapped by their dimensions, if we try to use a square texture, this is what we get. As you can see, this square checker map doesn't look like this on floor generator object. To 
fix this, I will add a UVW modifier on top of the floor generator object and I will show you what it looks like. But this time, I will feed that map to Corona wire to visualize the edges and I will show you the output. Keep in mind that we still don't have randomization on our checker texture and only randomization we got comes from the floor generator position randomization. As you can see, because now we have a UVW modifier on top, it overrides all the UV information of the floor generator object. Now, it's a good time to introduce UVW randomizer. I will put this here and I will show you the settings one more time. From 0 to 0 0.5, we didn't change anything here and it's still set to mesh element. Now we have very clear randomization on our floorboards. And now that I know UVW randomizer works as expected, I can try it with my wood texture. As we know that the texture is not seamless, I will do some changes to the bitmap to fix this issue. I will just mirror the bitmap and reduce the tiling to 0.5 to keep the size the same as before. You can of course process this image or this texture map in any software you want. You can transfer it to Photoshop or you can modify it with Substance. You can create a proper map out of it. But the idea here is to keep everything inside 3ds Max so we can save time. Now let's see what we have here. Randomization works and it already looks like a floor but we can still improve it. If you didn't like the scale of the texture, now you can play around with UVW map values to have something bigger or smaller. It looks way better. Now I can show you the final piece so you can create a bit more variation with your floor textures. I will use a corner multimap and I will set the input value to 1 because I only have one input texture and I will set the hue random to 1% and gamma random to 1%. That should be enough. Then I will plug this to the end of the chain and I will render one more time. Let's remove corona wire edges to see our texture better and I will show you what we have achieved so far using only single texture and I will show the process one by one. Let's delete the corona wire map and let's plug this back in. This was our starting texture and now I will finalize the material and show you what we have made so far using only one texture. This is our final result and I think it looks pretty good considering what we have started with and how much time we spent on it. Next time if you want to have something fast or if you're in this kind of situation, you know what to do and it will take only a minute. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. If that's the case, please drop a thumbs up. If you want to see more time saving tips like this please subscribe and if you have any questions, requests or feedbacks, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching and have fun modeling.